Also, before I get into the review here, uh, I thought I'd mention all of this gameplay you're watching is recorded by me off the Xbox One. It's all there. Hello, everybody. It is me, the Classy Fan, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Xbox One S. So, this system I bought with my own money back in December on Black Friday. I love I love it. It's so much better than my Wii U will ever have been. But, that's not to say there are some issues. We're going to talk about them in this video, and then I'm going to give you my final verdict on what I think of it. So, first, we're going to start with the good. First, it is an amazing media consumption device. I have, my, I, have a, I have the YouTube app, I have the Spotify app, I have the Twitch app. Uh, Mixer, even though it's not very popular, is still good as a streaming service. Even that, even it's even built in. You can stream right from the Xbox One, just going to the menu and going to broadcast, and just set it up, and you're good to go. So you, you can start your streaming career with without all buying all the fancy equipment. This, and it has most streaming apps like Netflix, Hulu that kind of stuff and to my surprise it, you can even get Sirius XM yes you can get satellite radio on this on the Xbox One S it also plays DVDs and Blu-rays and you can also even go download them which is great if you're one of those people that still has those things and wants to play them so okay so this is Battlefield on the Xbox One. This game is very demanding. Once you get on land here... I'm gonna check something. Yep. Yeah. Well, I can say that when you're playing demanding games on the S, it gets that. The console does get hot. A flame trooper kit is available near your And location. actually. Many major things can happen when when the when this when your system gets hot. <laughs> um, for example, um, you can have games do that do weird lag, like what just happened. So I have my PC unplugged from the internet. Um, this, the, like, this broadcasting feature will fail when the system is somewhat hot. I think I was trying to control that AA gun. Um, good things will happen when the, when the Xbox One S gets hot. So, uh, now onto the downsides here. So, first... The inability from the settings to adjust the screen margins. Because not all monitors actually have that. A lot more cheaper monitors like the one I use, which I got at a thrift shop, and it's a little bit older. And it, it works great, but it doesn't have the ability to adjust screen margins. Sometimes having incorrect screen margins will actually cause the HUD to be unviewable or just plain unusable. But there are ways to to kind of mess with it in the settings like changing your video configurations and all that. Now the other th thing is background downloading and sleep downloading. When you're background downloading it will cause games to lag. The, you should, the console should always prioritize the gameplay over the background download and when your system is sleeping Let's say you're going to use another system and you're going to go use the internet. There's a chance it will pretty much clog the network with the background, with the sleeping download feature. So, uh, my final rating. 
This is a 9 out of 10. Why? Because it's a great console. It's great for media consumption. If you have a 4K TV, you can watch 4K content. And I believe that most of the t that most 4K TVs these days auto like automatically upscale everything, so your games might be in 4K anyway. So, but there is the things like screen margin issues and the background downloading just re possibly wrecking your bandwidth. So, uh, that's all for now. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Bye for now. Peace.